the actual slides. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, I am delighted to welcome you uh, on behalf of the Software Sustainability Institute to the Collaborations Workshop. Um, I, uh, I've just been in a room with someone who's uh, from Northern Ireland and we're very disappointed to again not be in Belfast this year, but I, I think the the wonderful thing about having the collaborations workshop virtually is that it gives the possibility for many more people to uh, come and participate from across the world. So welcome to everyone, wherever you are. Um, this is the 13th collaborations workshop. It actually predates the Software Sustainability Institute. Uh, and uh, I think the main reason I wanted to bring up the fact that this is the 13th one is it gives me a chance to introduce my favorite piece of software, uh, a piece of software called IS13, which should be used as an example to all of us here of how not to do a successful software project. It's, it's truly crazy. Um, you should take a look at it. Uh, and um, if you want to do a hack day event using it, feel free. Just know that it is a, uh, it is a it's, it's run with very interesting principles. So um, definitely not something that a research software engineer would build. Um, we will get to Belfast eventually, and uh, I do hope to welcome you in person one day. But for now, uh, we are online and we're going to have uh, a really good time. So what do I want to tell you about before we get started? Um, so I want to introduce the Software Sustainability Institute. Uh, we are a national facility in the UK for cultivating better, more sustainable research software to enable world-class research. And what that means is that we try and provide to the wider community the sorts of expertise, services and tools, guidance and so on that help all of you as people who care about research software to improve the practice. And this event is one of the ways that we do this. Uh, what we're trying to do is uh, make sure that people are forming the types of collaborations that help you find the people who care about the same things that you do so that you can work together to make them happen. And uh, I must thank our funders, the UK Research Councils um, through EPSRC and the other research funders uh, who've given us generous funding to uh, allow us to do this work. The Software Sustainability Institute itself is formed of a virtual team between the universities of Edinburgh, Manchester, Oxford and Southampton and a much wider network of collaborators, fellows and colleagues across the world. So um, thank you to our funders and thank you to all of the people uh, that we work with to make things happen. So um, this is an unconference and for some people it may be the first time you've been to an unconference for some people, this might be a very um, regular experience. However, I wanted to kind of go through a few little tips um, around unconferences that might help you get a little bit more from them. Uh, and they're, they're categorized in, in four basic things. Um, being a, a participant, not an audience, being kind to yourself, finding sessions that fit you, uh, and being all about the journey uh, as well as the destination. Uh, I used to always put in these slides that this is an event where it's normal for someone you don't know to join a conversation, but uh, in these pandemic days, nothing is normal anymore. So uh, just take everything as it goes. So what do I mean by you're a participant? Uh, the main thing that I want to, to kind of uh, highlight is that you're here to share your knowledge, um, not just your views, uh, but you also want to be able to amplify other people's good ideas. So be free with your credit and your praise and invite feedback. Um, listen when you can and ensure that what you're trying to do is increase the knowledge of the entire community that's gathering here as part of the collaborations workshop. Uh, be kind, particularly to yourself. Uh, one of the things that we're all aware of as we've gone through um, this last year is that Zoom can be very tiring and it can be very bad for your physical health and your mental health. So get up and stretch, take breaks, um, be tolerant of the snags and issues that we have. Everyone is going to have the you're on mute um, experience at some point during this workshop. Um, 
please follow our code of conduct and participants guidelines. They're there to make this a safe space and to ensure that everyone is given um, an opportunity to participate. Um, and yes, please do point out any non-inclusive behavior to us. And those details, as Rachel has said, are in the participant guidelines. Uh, find sessions that fit you. There's a lot going on at Collaborations Workshop. And in, uh, like any other unconference, a lot of this is generated by you, the participants. So you will find that things may feel a bit chaotic from time to time. You'll see a lot of different ideas crop up. You will probably have fear of missing out. Uh, if you find that a session isn't working for you, feel free to leave it and move into one um, that you, you thought was your second choice. Likewise, if you're running a session, don't be worried if someone is uh, leaving halfway through. It's not because your presentation is bad. It's just because the session is not necessarily the right fit for them. So um, be, few, uh, be free to kind of go and move around. Don't worry uh, that people will think that you're, you're kind of uh, feeling uh, that they're not doing the right thing. It's all about you. So just make sure that you go to things that, that give you joy. And finally, the journey is important. Uh, so other people who've been to the physical version of this conference may have seen me uh, talk about the virtual Pac-Man rule, where what you're trying to do is, if you're in a physical space, create a Pac-Man shape. So there's always an inviting uh, free space for people to join in a conversation. So we can do the same thing in virtual environments. And the way we do this is by leaving pauses, inviting others to join the conversation, handing over the baton to people perhaps who haven't spoken. And as Rachel has said as well, and as everyone will be from the SSI team will continually be uh, asking you to do, try and meet new people. Uh, this is a great chance because there are so many more new people here at the Collaborations Workshop. Uh, there are many people that I've never met, which is really great to see. Uh, so get those chats in, um, find out more about what people are doing. And above all, enjoy yourself. <laughs>